Looking at the key tenets of swimming, and I'm sure I'm gonna hit on one or two or maybe three of the areas that you can improve on. And again, you're gonna be able to, to see this in the video. You'll know how to make the corrections with the exercises. But let's talk about the big three. And you always start with your corrective checklist with number one, and that's head position. The head is in a neck neutral position. So when I say neck neutral, it's like I'm looking at camera right now. I'm not forward flexed. I'm not looking up at the sky. And that's more common where the head is too high. 90% of the swimmers that have improper head position, it's too high. We're looking up for those buoys that are in the race. We're looking out for the person who's coming at the wall at us. If you have a confidence in open water swimming and also in the pool, it's neck neutral position. You can try this to go to the extreme. And I teach in extremes a lot of times so that you can feel the kinesthetic aesthetic sense, the awareness of what you're doing in space. Take a tennis ball, put that tennis ball here, tuck your chin down. Now I'm a little bit in flexion, but you're going to have an idea. Oh yeah, my eyes are looking straight down. I can't look straight forward. And that's exactly right. I still have range of motion from side to side. So if you're in a shallow pool, you've got about two meters that you're able to see ahead. You're not able to see the, the far wall if you're in a 25 yard or 25 meter pool. You're looking straight down. That allows your shoulder, your rotator cuff to open up a little bit. It allows your hips and your feet to ride higher. The second one is overreaching. And overreaching is caused by tight shoulders, tight thoracic spine, poor rotation, and tight hips, or it could be one of those three. And when I overreach, that means crossing over that center line in front. And I see a lot of people that almost look like they're a crab when they're swimming. Those fingers are pointed straight ahead and typically right in line with that shoulder cap on the entry. So overreaching is number two. The third one goes hand in hand, overextending. People always say, get a nice long stroke, long stroke. Well, you overextend too far over the water and it causes your elbow and your wrist joint to hit the water at the same time. And when you do that and you start pressing down on that water, elbow and wrist joint hit at the same time or fingers go under the water last. And if I'm watching athletes straight on, I see a lot of times the fingers go under. Boy, are you loading up those support muscles of your rotator cuff by overextending. So take a look at those big three. 